Okay, so for my next card, I'm also using Winter Frolic, and I'm going to use this cute little stocking. So what I've done is cut this tag out at four inches, which is actually really big. I probably would have done three and a half and kept it the same size as what I cut my little stocking out at, but just so that you know. So it's on page 49. I cut the tag out and also the stocking and all its little items that go with the stocking. So I did the stocking in this cute little teal color, and I did the... Um, little stocking patches here in the craft color cardstock. So now what I'm going to do is take the little packages that I made and the packages I cut out from this dreamy cardstock that I had here. And it was just a scrap piece of paper and it's called My Mind's Eye Dreamy 2. It's called You and Me Mod Dots Spots on Paper. So I think it's super cute. So that's what I've used for that. So I'm going to go ahead and just start adhering the little packages here. So probably best if I actually did colored the back, or not inked it, but glued the back of the packages here. So I'm just going to glue them. And actually, I probably should have done this big one first because then the little one goes on top of it. So I'm going to quickly do the taller one so that the little one can kind of stick over it like that. And then nothing goes on this one. It's just the same color whoops, as the actual stocking is like it is here in the picture so it's just the blue here so um, I'm gonna go ahead and add the little stocking onto here which I think is so cute or not stocking but a candy cane I don't know why I said stocking okay so there's a the little candy cane that goes on here and make sure I get that on right okay now the next thing that I need to do here is add this little portion. Let's see which way it goes exactly. Um, that doesn't look quite right. Let me see here. It goes like that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just glue the back of this and go ahead and adhere this onto here. How cute is that, right? So super cute. So I think what I'm going to do now is get my little white gel pin out and do some faux stitching on this, as well as I'm going to do some faux stitching on this, and then come right back. Okay, so here's the little top note that I made, and I'm not so happy with this. I stamped it on. It doesn't look straight to me. It looks crooked. So I do have a fix for this. This is from the My Pink Stamper Winter Puns. I love this. I think it's so cute. So that's the stamp set that I used with this. And so what I've decided to do, I'm going to go ahead and just add the little stocking onto here. But before I do that, this is what I did. I cut this out at one and three quarters, and then I cut this out at one and a half, and I stamp, stamped it once again. I'm just going to cover that up. So it worked out just fine. So sometimes when you make a mistake, you know, it can be corrected right away. So... Um, I'm just going to go ahead and use my Zig 2A glue pen to go ahead and add this onto there, and then I'll add it onto here. And I just added a little bit of rhinestone because the tag doesn't have a blackout feature to add, um, cover up the little hole that's there. So I just add the little rhinestone instead of that. So I'm just going to kind of place this onto here so I can kind of see where I want this to go. That will be just fine. So I'm going to go ahead. I think I'm going to faux stitch this and then come right back. All right. So what I've done is just added some faux stitching as well to this little greeting, the warmest winter wishes. And then the little stocking here. I'm going to go ahead and just put that here. It overlaps this a little bit. And that was intentional. I meant for that to happen. And this is the cardstock I'm going to use, this really pretty green base. And since I kind of want to tie in a little bit more of the present, the cardstock that the presents were with, I'm going to go ahead and add this to here. So I am just going to get my Zig 2A glue pin here and add that. All right, and kind of put this in the center. I like the way that looks. I think that's going to add some nice little color to this card. So there we go. And now what I'm going to do, you know what I meant to do? <laughs> Shoot. Well, this is, I meant to add some twine to it. So since I kind of put this on before I should have, I'm going to go ahead and just 
do it from behind here. It'll be just fine. I'll do it from behind here, and then I'm going to have to kind of thread it through. So I'll do that a little bit and then come right back. Okay, so here's the final card. I went ahead and added everything and added a little string from the back and adhered it onto here. So I hope you guys give this a try and have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.